Hi, my name is Silent Dad. This video will contain solutions for the exercises in the C programming language book by Kernigan and Ritchie. Exercise 2-2. Write a loop equivalent for the loop above without using AND or OR. So the loop above this is mentioned in this exercise is this okay so the loop the for loop mentioned is for uh, is equal to zero So this is the loop, the for loop mentioned. So I'm going to write a the equivalent of this for loop without using and and or. Okay, notice that uh, in an uh, in, a, in a logical expression like this. the other conditions are entered only if this condition is true so if this condition is true this condition will be evaluated and if this is true this condition will be evaluated meaning that when the con this condition is false the other conditions will not be uh, evaluated so so doing a some sort of a so let's generalize it generalize it so if condition one condition two expression one else Expression two. So the equivalent, equivalent if else if else statement for this condition is if condition one, if condition two, if condition one is true, go to condition two if it's true, evaluate expression one. Of course, if this condition is not true, we're going to put an else and evaluate expression two similar with this so based from this so based from this general um, uh, general statement we can create the we can create a the for loop equivalent uh, the equivalent uh, equivalent for the for equivalent uh, expression for this for loop now notice that in this uh, uh, in this uh, in this statement we have an else part so here since we are in a loop we should have an else part now the else part for this condition is we get out of the loop now since we cannot use the any one of this condition to get out of the loop we create another variable so let's
so let's try to create a code for that so we know that we need to have a another valuable that will be tested so that we can get out of the loop so let's call that variable out of loop so let's set out of loop equals zero meaning when this condition uh, meaning when this value is one we can get out of we get out of the loop so while not out of loop if I less than limit minus one character I no it see is a good get car not equal to new line if C is not equal to end of file that's the only time we're going to write the character to the array let's see and then we're going to increment array so the else part is out of loop one and the else part here out of loop is one and the else part here check if we have if is if uh, these two these two loops are equal so let's uh, test this uh, let's test using the for loop first okay, so let's comment out this the for loop so we need the variable i Define Lim as one thousand. So let's get the I and the string. I is I and the string is so let's try oh, ah I see okay Okay. 
44 and this sentence and the input that we have uh, let's try let's put first a null character here three characters okay so let's uh, comment this and I'm going this let's try our code so let's use the same statement Yes. So you can do the zero two. So that oh segmentation fault. Ah yes, I didn't set I is equal to zero. Okay. So the quick brown box jumps over the lazy dog. It should be 44 with an and input. 44. So let's try with ABC. It should be 3. So similar. So since we have the similar output, we know that our equi our equivalent for loop is the same to this for loop. So that will be all for now and I hope you learned something.